Hey, what's up everyone? So this, uh, what you're going to watch here is actually a clip from a longer interview, uh, a longer interview um, done for the End of the Road podcast. If you want to listen to the whole thing, it's listed uh, in the description below. Um, I'm posting this clip even though it's going to be audio only, which I know is a bit of a no-no for, uh, for YouTube. I'm posting it because I felt like it really properly encapsulates where my thoughts are right now about the discussion around entities, psychedelic entities and plant spirits, and sort of how I'm engaging the very real, um, the very real challenge of its unbelievability, for, personally, uh, or at least the, the far reach it is outside of the conventional reality, modern reality bubble that we're in, and the very, very real um, reality of the experience as a phenomenon being present in psychedelics, and that it really calls us to contend with what's going on, um, given that it is happening, at least experientially. So what you're going to hear for the next few minutes is me uh, answering a question around psychedelic entities that I feel accurately represents my thinking on the matter um, and um, would love to hear your thoughts on it as well in the comments below. But uh, enjoy this clip. I don't know in, in any of your podcasts if I've heard you discuss, uh, um, the, you know, the whole, you know, uh, issue about, you know, the aliens, the interdimensional beings being products of our own unconscious or or uh, something something else uh, do, do you have any thoughts on that well i'm not sure when this podcast will release but at the time of its recording um the most recent one i released with bernard Gunther explores um explores this and in honesty i'm quite skeptical um but i think good skepticism requires an open mind um, I'm quite skeptical of the whole thing. I am definitely closer to the it's all manifestations of your own mind camp. And I'm I'm unsure and, like I said, agnostic towards the concept that there are disincarnate entities that exists either, you know, presently in a dimension that is like here now but can't be, you know, perceived by human consciousness when sober or what, or if they exist in other dimensions that we go into when we're on high psychedelic experiences. I, I don't know. I, definitely the whole disincarnate entities thing, or, you know, seemingly separate sentient intelligences that exist uh, with their own agency of what it means to be, you know, uh, I don't know. I'm very skeptical. Is it possible? Yeah, definitely possible. To certain degrees, I can say that um, where I slide and I'm a little bit more less skeptical is things like plant spirits. I mean, maybe not the best terminology. It's very loaded. Um, especially loaded with new ageism. But to think that we could have in an altered state a direct, you know, in, in interaction with the intelligence of a living organism that just so happens not to, you know, think and cognize and behave the way a mammal does, you know, I mean, it's, it's not that far stretched, I, I don't personally think. Um, and because uh, I, I, I believe that the living world, the living natural world is an intelligent thing. And so, I mean, maybe every time we have any type of plant, we're interacting with the spirit and intelligence of that plant. It's just the psychedelics seem to speak a lot louder. Um, but uh, then there might be things like maybe the concepts of seeing fairies or something. Maybe there's a inside of the larger bioenergetic matrix of the forest, there's these dynamic anomalies that happen to manifest as some sort of seemingly, like I said, seemingly separate intelligence, its own life force. Maybe that's what fairies are, I don't know. I'm pretty agnostic, like I said. Um, I think it's a really curious investigation, but I also wonder about how far it actually gets us um, in the discourse, in the sense of like, it's very easy to get overtly distracted with these transpersonal concepts and these transpersonal curiosities to the point wherein we utilize them to basically facilitate spiritual bypassing and dissociate from the actual therapeutic personal maturity work we need to do in order to, you know, actually grow up and lack of better terms evolve as a person. Um, so I think it's a curiosity that is very interesting. Um, but it might be one that's debilitating for people because it can just distract us from the real work we should or could 
probably be doing that might be more um, effective use of our of our uh, of our cognitive energy. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'd love to hear your comments um, below uh, or over on the AtMind subreddit, um, which is our uh, our AtMind podcast. It'll be linked uh, in the description to this video. So, uh, thanks for listening. Leave it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah. Sweet. Thanks for helping engage the discourse. Bye.